question number three um, zero forty five fifteen forty six point eight fourteen forty nine point eight and sixty fifty two point two and eighty fifty four point six and hundred and ten fifty eight point two so those are the points when you when you plot this one you will get a uh, line like this you can do plotting on a graph paper uh, so x is h and uh, it looks it is e so this is h and this is cost because why i draw like a line because before I start, I just check the gradient of this one. The gradient is same. Then I know this, uh, it is going to be a linear model. That's why I draw like this. Now, when you draw, you can see that it is a, a linear model in, in the graph. When you draw in the graph. So you can do part A. Then part B. When you draw, you can see that. Uh, they are on a line, a straight line. Uh, explain how you know a linear model would be appropriate model because all the points lies lie uh, on the uh, a straight line part c did you uh, did you the equation in the form e equal a h plus b right i have to delete this one this instead of c they use e so this is e axis this is h axis now a e is this is y equal mx plus c form m is the gradient Likewise, A is the gradient here. How do you find the gradient? You take two points, Y1 minus Y2. 46.8 minus 45, X mi minus X2. That is uh, 15 minus 0. Now, this is going to be 1.8. And this is 15. I can divide by 3. Uh, 0 0.6. This is 5. It means uh, 60 over 6 over 15. Now there we The answer is 0 0.12. Then the graph is going to be E equals 0 0.12 plus 12H plus B. Now we want to find B. When this is the E intercept. When H is 0, E value is 45. Now, so B is the E intercept as line go through zero four five E intercept is uh, 45. So then the 
equation is e equal 0 0.1h plus 45. Rd, I have to interpret what is uh, a and b, what is this 0 0.1, 1, 1, 2 and 45. So basically like this. Um, it means 1 kilowatt hour, 1 kilowatt hour, the cost is 0 0.12. If you increase by 1, point, 1 kilowatt hour, the cost is going to be 0 0.12. So that is the meaning of the gradient. If you walk one unit towards here, 0 0.1 to go up. If you uh, use one kilowatt hour, then the price is 0 0.12. So A is 0 0.12 is is the cost of one kilowatt hour of electricity now what is b b is 45 It means when the kilowatt hour is zero, still there is a charge. This is the meaning of that. When the kilowatt hour is zero, still you have a fixed charge. This is the fixed charge. for the electricity supply. Sometimes you think when you go holiday more than a month, there will be no electric or the gas bill. No, it's not like that. There is a gas bill. Even if you don't use, they will charge the the fixed amount. Now part A. Use the model to find the cost of 65 kilowatt hours. So, e equals 0 0.12H uh, plus 45. When H equal 65 e equals 0 0.2 times 65 plus 45 it means 52.80 question number four draw a graph of the draw a graph of the data and explain how you a linear model would not be appropriate you have time and distance Right, the part A is a drawing. We have to plot a graph to the given data. Data R zero zero one four point five one four point five uh, two eighteen like that. Part B is explain how you know a linear model would not be appropriate. You don't need to draw this to answer this question. In this question, the answer is there. Because why a linear model uh, would not be appropriate? Because uh, the point do not lies on the straight line. Because the points uh, do not lie on the straight line because the point do not lie on the straight line so linear 
hence linear model is not appropriate oh. then when you plot this one it can't be a um, line so you may get this kind of a curve this is time and this is distance points do not lie on the straight lines linear model is not appropriate question number five uh, that's a designer eh? he charge for six day works seven thousand one hundred and 13 days work 9550 the question A is write a link between uh, so 6 mean uh, days C mean cost 6 days 7900 pound mean cost days and cost this is 13 so we want to write c equal uh, a d plus h a is the gradient h is the uh, c intercept to write like this we have to assume what assume this point is here and the other point is here so this is 6 13 uh, here 30 so it's not a curve if it is a curve we can't write like this we have to assume this is a linear model it's not a curve so if they ask to see write c equal a d plus h it means indirectly they are asked to assume the model is linear now I want to find gradient A, y1 minus y2, uh, now here, instead of y, c1 minus c2 over d1 minus d2, 9550 minus 7100, uh, d1 minus d2, 13 minus 6, 2450 over 7, which is, uh, three five zero now c equal three hundred and fifty d plus h now I, h since one going through six seven thousand one hundred so this line go through this point six uh, six seven thousand one hundred and this is thirteen nine thousand five hundred and fifty then I will substitute those values C is seven thousand one hundred three hundred and fifty uh, D is six plus H seven thousand one hundred times uh, 2100 plus h h equal 5000 the equation is then c equal 350d plus 5000 this is a and not h b so i'll write as b so this is b b b equal 5000 When it when b equal five thousand, it means this is zero zero five thousand. So what is the assumption? Uh, it doesn't matter the days. He definitely may charge a fixed rate five thousand. If you handle a, a project, 
a charge 5000 plus the day cost so a not b a is the uh, daily rate for the designer which is 350 pounds. Then uh, B is 5000 is the fixed uh, cost or rate for a project. Assignment SSIGM MEM or assignment. Now, part C for project design a charge 13,400. So, how many days? Uh, number of days. So, you know that 13,500. So we want to minus 5,000 uh, 0, 0, 4 So 8,400 is going to be 350 days This is cancel out 35 8, divided by 840 So number of days is 24 What I did was I reduced the fixed cost and divide by the rate 8400 divided by 350 then I'll get 24 days basically I work out uh, this is 13400 equal 350 day plus 5000 so when it's come to here 13400 minus 5000 equal 350 day so this is 8400 350 D divided by 350 so answer is 24 days question number 6 I didn't read the sum but I can see CF again I can see CF symbol I'm not reading the sum then I can see that F equal AC plus B then I know F is whatever it is, it is the Y axis, C is the X axis, and this is the equation of a line. This is going to be the 0, B is the Y, F intercept, not Y intercept. And um, yes, now when I look at, okay, uh, 20 centigrade and 68. So even I didn't read the sum, I am just uh, right uh, 20 centigrade and 68. What is the other one? 9 and 48.2. Uh, uh, then we have to write the equation. So we have two points. This is C and F. So, uh, gradient A equal F1 minus F2 over C1 minus C2. F1 mean 68 minus 48 2 over 20 minus 9. So, 19.8 over 11 which is 1.8. Now I know F equal 1.8 times C plus B. Now I want to find B. So since curve go through this point, since line go through 9, 48.2, 
then I'm going to substitute if is 48.2 equal 1.8 times 9 plus B now I can find times uh, this is 16.2 plus B and so uh, B equal 48 minus 16 minus 2 which is 30 now the equation is F equal 1.8 uh, C plus 30. Now the next question is interpret the value of A and B. So value of A and B means when uh, when 1 Celsius is increase uh, 1.8 uh, Fahrenheit 1 Celsius mean 1.8 Fahrenheit 2, 2 Celsius mean 1.8 times 2 so part B um, A is the increase uh, month of Fahrenheit for every one Celsius degree. B is not the fixed cost. This is zero zero thirty. So this is thirty two basically. Uh, and this is thirty two from the calculation. Actually, I can remember that I wrote thirty uh, forty eight point two uh, sine sixteen point two plus b. B equal 14.2 minus 16.2 is uh, that is 32. That is so it is 32. And uh, B equal 32 is the Fahrenheit temperature. when uh, 0 celsius degrees part c there's a question when uh, if phase 101.3 what is the celsius will sub here 101.3 equal 1.8 c plus 32 1.8 c equal 101.3 minus 32 and c equal 101.3 minus 32 divided by uh, 1.8 which is 38.5 in celsius in part c they ask in which temperature part the which temperature that both Fahrenheit and Celsius equal assume that uh, uh, at X temperature both F and C are equal I mean if C and they are all if equal C equal will take that that temperature is X then I will sub here X equal 1.5 uh, x plus 32 so minus 32 equal 1.x minus 1 0 0.x equal minus 32 x equal minus 32 divided by 0 0.8 uh, so which is minus 40 now f equal c equal 
minus 40.